Yeah. Um, I'll give it over to Bernat and Xavier to introduce themselves and what they're talking about today. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. My name is Xavier. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan, a fan of, of Snap. And we, we are using it in, in, in engineering association in, in, in Catalonia in order to explain engineers uh, industry 4.0. So what we are seeing is, uh, is, is SNAP, uh, um, if we add uh, to a SNAP uh, Internet of Things capabilities such as MQTT, MQTT, we can connect a SNAP to devices and we can connect a SNAP uh, with other, to other SNAPs and other softwares. Uh, the, the library uh, we are going to show you, uh, okay, I'm going to share the screen, okay. All right. Then, if I go, okay, just a minute here. Okay. okay. Go to Google and I and I write M uh, QTT for Snap. And then we go to a GitHub repository. And here there is some explanation of the library and some explanation of the publish subscribe mechanism. And with public subscribe, we have a broker and then subscribers subscribe to the broker using a, uh, defining a topic. And then the publishers, when published to a specific topic, all the subscribers receive uh, the messages more or less at the same time. Okay. Um, to use the, the library, uh, we have set here a hello world. We, we can load the library uh, using using this URL, so you can we can import uh, the library. So we only have the blocks. But if you, we click here in hello world, we load the example and the library at the same time. So this is an example with the the basic steps. Here we can see first the blocks, the blocks we have loaded. And basically, okay, there is a connect block and then there is a public, uh, subscribe block, a public block, publish block, unsubscribe, disconnect. And also there is a possibility to, to use, because MQTT is an asynchronous uh, protocol, but it's possible to use it in a synchronous way. So the, this, these two blocks, request and response, um, make possible to uh, act synchronously. So we, we can make a request and then wait uh, until the answer and, and receive the, the, the response as, we, we, as if uh, it were a reporter. It's like a remote reporter. Uh, okay, if we want to test uh, how the library works, here, there is the hello world with the steps explained. No? The first step is uh, connect. By default, we use the Mosquito test broker. And here we can, we can uh, write uh, any, any broker we want. So if I click on connect, I have, uh, I've made a connection. And then if I subscribe, I'm subscribing to a topic called topic name. And when a message uh, is received in this callback, because here is a, a callback structure, no? so the, the subscription, when I receive a message, the blocks that are inside the callback are executed. Then in this case, we, we execute say payload. Well, we receive two parameters. The first one is the topic and the second one is the payload. And if you want to show the payload, this is the, the message. Here we will say, and we will show the, 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 the message. And finally, there is the, the publish uh, the publish block, and we send to the topic name "Hello World." Okay, so I subscribe, and then if I publish, here there is the, the, the "Hello World." Excuse me, Xavier. Uh, there's a question in the chat from Simon. If you want to uh, read ah, it. Okay. Let me see. Uh, close. Sure. 
question. Simon Walters, huh. is the request response part of MQTT5 or just a function of, of your implementation? Yeah, uh, it's not part of the MQTT5, it's similar, it's uh, a, an own implementation. And let, let me show you, I share the screen again. And okay, if we go to the uh, GitHub, let me go again because um, MQTT for snap, okay. Precisely this feature is implemented. Here is explain. Here is the, the, the sequence diagram that explains the Ruger uh, reporter block. So this logic is implemented in, 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 in the snap block, as I will show you now. But the idea is there is a, a semaphore and there is a loop uh, waiting the, the, the response. And then the semaphore, the semaphore is unlocked and the response is, is, is reported. And this we can see here in the request. MQTT request, sorry, okay, if I edit, and here is the, 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 the same logic. So it uh, uh, enters a, a loop, wait until the uh, semaphore is unlocked and then report the response. Okay. Uh, I, um, well, I don't know, um, do you think, I, I tried to show you this record response or I don't know what about the time. <clears throat> yeah, let's have. go on with the, with the rest of the demos, maybe. And if we have yeah. time at the, okay. at the end. So, OK, th this was the, the technical introduction to how uh, MQTT and the library works. Uh, let us show you a bunch of things that you can do with SNAP and MQTT now. So the first thing we wanted to do is we wanted to play a game. So. Let me share my screen now. Move this thing away. OK. Uh, so I have this tic-tac-toe implementation here. The only mm, funny part about this implementation is that every time you play, every time you play, you're actually sending the current turn uh, via MQTT. Here, you're publishing your current turn and your position. And every time you receive a position, you play it, uh, you show it in here. So, Xavier, are you ready? Okay, just a moment. Uh, so, you are sharing. Okay, I have the tic tac loaded. Okay. Okay, go for it. Let me. Okay, but I don't see you at now because, yeah, well, I begin, all right? Okay. Okay, I click in the middle. Are we oh. connected? Oh, maybe I, I didn't connect, sorry. Uh -huh. There we go. <laughs> Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I reply here. Okay. I play here. Play here now. Well, I go up the left corner. Okay. And I uh, yeah. Okay. Now I'm I'm gonna let you in. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There we go. So the, this is one of the uh, ways that you can communicate two snaps together by using this library. Uh, something else we wanted to show you is actually this protocol was originally intended for uh, IoT, and I have this awful contraption here 
that's actually connected uh, to uh, MQTT. And now Xavier is going to send a few messages to this contraption. I sit on his smiling because he actually makes these words. OK. Uh, so let me remember the topics. If I send snap topic SnapCon, for instance, So I sent to the topic SnapCon and the message. Maybe you can share your screen. Ah, I share a screen. Let me, okay. All right. And you can send a message red, for example. And I write red uh, to SnapCon all so uh, I connect and I publish. Oh. There we go. Okay. And my did you see the LED <clears throat> turn red? Maybe you can do it again, Xavier. Red again. I publish red. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Maybe go for blue now. Blue. So right blue. And I click. Okay. Okay, and let's try a couple more. Wave. Uh, let here. me remember. Here, there, there. Ah, okay. Wave. Yep. Click. And Alonso says hi. Uh -huh. And let's try spin. Spin. For instance, mm -hmm. and there we go. So uh, basically, you've, you've seen we've been able to communicate two snaps together. We can also communicate snap with something else. It's still not a snap, but it's a different application. It's snap for Arduino. So one fun thing about MQTT is that you can break out of your system and communicate with things that are completely uh, outside of the domain of your system. So for example, uh, Xavier is now going to show you uh, a, simu a physics simulation software that, that has MQTT capabilities. So you can mm -hmm. interact with it from Snap. OK. Uh, let me share the screen. OK. Uh, boom, boom. Well, uh, this is a, a demo based on, on a project called uh, Project Chrono. Project Chrono is a project uh, from two professors, uh, one of uh, Italy, the other is from the United States, and it's an open source, pro uh, open source project. Here is the, the example, pro but if we go to the, the homepage of the Project Chrono, this is an, an open source multi, multi physics simulation engine. So there are different examples how to, to, to make the simulations. And what's interesting here, the idea was to insert uh, the possibility to send MQTT messages and to receive MQTT messages in order to control, in this case, the spin of uh, an, an axis. So I'm going to run the demonstration. So I start. Here is the, 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 is a box with balls, and the, the software is making the simulation in real time. And here we have an axis and, and, and this part uh, spinning. OK. Uh, what I know is uh, the topic is, is the, the name of control. So what I'm going to do now is to, OK, I go back here. All right, let me make the browser. Yeah, here I can make it smaller, and then I have small, and here we can see we can see the, the box. All right. 
And here, if I send to control topic and I send up command, and each time I'm send an up command, I'm increasing. Have to connect first. Okay. Increasing this the speed, okay. And if I send down the down message, I'm reducing the speed. And even I can stop it and reverse the sense of the spinning. Okay. And that simulation is, is running in, in, in real time. So this is the idea. Uh, the, the, the idea of simulations can be synchronized uh, in real time using the PubSub architecture, the PubSub publish subscribe uh, protocols of the Internet of Things. So Internet of Things uh, um, not only connect devices, uh, it, it can connect uh, simulators and in fact it can connect knowledge. This is our the, the idea. The idea. There's a question in the chat um, from ah, Kathy. Okay. okay. I put the chat. Okay. Uh, do you have it? Okay. Just Would wondering. To share a single Mavex expensive resource among a class. Oh, they, they usually are behind, at least behind uh, a username and password. Okay. Are commercial products you, that speak you, MQTT typically yeah, encrypted? Could. If yeah. the product was yours and you set it up with a username and password, you could probably talk yeah. to it then. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so time for a, another demo. Uh, let me share my screen now. And another software that uh, it doesn't actually have MQTT enabled by default, but it can run Python. So this is Blender, it's a 3D modeling and animation and, and whatnot uh, environment. It's a free software uh, tool that's being used for professional 3D movies and games and all sorts of things 3D. And since it can run Python scripts, you can actually uh, import an MQTT library and, and add MQTT capabilities to it. And this is just regular snap with uh, Xavier's uh, MQTT library. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play the, the famous chaos game in here, where this sprite is going to go at uh, a random point between two other sprites. And then it's going to send uh, an MQTT message to Blender, asking it to add a cube, to make a cube of site two. That's the, the size, uh, the length of each site at this particular position. And if it all goes well, We should start seeing a pattern in here. It takes a bit for some reason. Uh, the Blender, the, the Python that comes with Blender uh, doesn't handle well uh, real time stuff. It interferes with the with the main loop, with the with the with the UI loop. So the UI gets a bit irresponsive. But you see, eventually, it starts speeding up. And you'll probably start to recognize a famous pattern in here. It's a fractal, the Sierpinski triangle that emerges from this very simple game of just going between two random points uh, arranged in a triangle form and dropping a, a spot in there. So again, the nice part about this is uh, we are able to communicate two programs that have nothing in common, that have no uh, mm, API that let you communicate with each other. And the way we do that is by listening to messages. And here's all we're doing. We're publishing to Snap a message that says the name of the shape, the size of the shape, and the position of the shape. I'll, I'll stop this because it's painfully slow. We're still uh, missing around 500 cubes in here, but you get the idea. And for the last demo, and I think we're actually doing okay time-wise, right? Yeah, we still have 10 minutes, so 
we'd like to ask you to open a project in your um, browsers. I'm going to paste the link in the chat. And please uh, let me know when you got it open. Is everyone in there? If you are in there, you should be seeing uh, a sprite moving around, doing a square pattern. Is that working for you? Not really. Did, did you click on the green flag, everyone? Okay, I'll just go for it. Did that work for everyone? It moves, but <laughs> no pen down. <laughs> okay, you might have to wait for a bit. Messages are probably still piling up. They will get there eventually. Not working. Okay, let me try again. Okay. I can see a line. Oh, part of a line. I think we probably <laughs> saturated the server with <laughs> so many people subscribed <laughs> to the same topic. The idea is that we had uh, a synchronized Blackboard. So I was writing stuff in here, and you were getting it in your Blackboard. We have a backup uh, project that doesn't use as much uh, that doesn't use as much data. So let us finish with something that works. If you can now head to this one. Uh, Kathy wanted to know real fast if this was faster than HTTP. Uh, it actually, the transport layer is WebSockets. So it is, it is faster than HTTP, yeah. So just for, because this is being recorded, uh, I'm going to share my screen so that people who are watching this later can see that. So the way this is, this is working is uh, it's taking your username if you are logged in. And if you are not, it's, <laughs> it's making up your name.
Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to actually ask them here in the chat if you want. Or Xavier, if you want to show the, we still have four minutes left, right? If you want to show the, uh, ah, to try to do the, the synchronous call. Yeah, the request response. The request thing. response. Yeah. For a couple of questions in the chat right now, you guys. Ah, can okay. Look. Okay. Oh, will will this be included as an official library? So uh, I'm trying to talk Jens into it. But actually, we've been looking for a way to intercommunicate snap instances with each other. And uh, I showed Jens all these demos, and, and he was excited to the point of saying that he wanted to have this integrated into snap. Now I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Uh, but, but Bernard, we can explain the, 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 the way in the MQTT library is load on the fly with, mm -hmm. with uh, the, these two blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, we're loading the MQTT library via JavaScript on the fly. Well, you you can actually inspect all these blocks by yourselves and see how how it's implemented. Uh, meanwhile, while it's not yet uh, included in the in the official snap release, you can always go to GitHub, P. Xavier, MQTT snap, MQTT4 snap. I will paste this into the chat. Oh, why did it make my name Karen even though I was locked in? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I guess, I don't know. Did you log in? Yeah, refresh, refresh maybe. If you logged in after uh, you had launched, the application, the, the program, then it might have stuck with the previous name. And uh, just one last thing. Uh, we will, if you want, if you have any other questions, we will have a thread here at the SnapCon uh, category of the Snap Forum, which you can access here and we'll be answering questions Oh, I see. So it should have worked, right? And I don't know why that happened. Okay, and I guess we're now out of time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.